great to see you. I believe you're doing great. And in our previous video, we have been talking with you about English speaking skills. So let's talk more about speaking today because there are a lot of things to talk about with you. And in this lesson, I will give you more practical sites for increasing your speaking English skills. Today, I will give you sites, a new dictionary. Today, I will give you some practical YouTube links where you can listen to the native speakers. I will give you some links to the chats where you can find native speakers. And I will give you some links where you can find people around you, where you can meet up together and talk with each other. So guys, I believe this meeting is going to be pretty informative for you. Let's go on. And to start with, I want to show you a new dictionary. This dictionary uh, is wonderful. I love it so much, my dear ladies and gentlemen. And just uh, let me share with you my screen and show you the link to this dictionary. This dictionary is great and wonderful. I will send you the link down below this video. You can just click it. And here you will see this Macmillan Dictionary. This dictionary is great because you can see here definitions and synonyms as well. This is not translation word to word. This one is definition dictionary. You just press here any word you like. That is friendly for the first time. I love this word friendly. And you can see here five definitions with synonyms. And what is special about Macmillan Dictionary? This dictionary is British English. And at our previous lesson, we have been talking about dictionary where you can find American English variant of the word, American English pronunciation. This one is British English. Let us listen how does this word sound. Friendly. Friendly, great, very good. So this one is British English and American English. This is our previous lesson. Hope you will like it too. And you can find here as well sentences where this word friendly is used. Once again, you can learn these sentences by heart and use them in your everyday life. Try to use this sentence several times a day. I believe you can always find a situation where this sentence is in use. For example, I enjoy working there. Everyone is so friendly. Talk to yourself and say this sentence several times a day. So here we can find synonyms and more sentences. Now, you know the word, you know the definition, you know how to use it, you know everything. And let us talk with you today, my dear ladies and gentlemen, what to do next. The next step is learning the natural flow of English. What does that mean? That means that you have to listen to English. You have to listen to the songs you like, to the films you like, maybe to the cartoons you adore. Listen to English. What to do while listening? We have been talking about this in our previous lesson, but let's talk about this more. First of all, when you are listening to English, you have, uh, you have to search something new. What do you have to listen to? The first one is linkings. The second, contractions. Number three, stress. And number four, reason. Linkings. Listen how native speakers link two words together. Because the last sound of the first word and the first sound of the second word are usually omitted or linked together. In a way, we can't hear these words correctly. That's why sometimes we don't understand native speakers. I will show you the example a little bit further, how to, how to find these linkings and how to use them. Contractions is number two. For example, 
we usually learn I am, but native speakers will always say I'm. It's shorter, it's faster, it's more practical. It's great to say he will, but it's much better to say he'll. Amazing, they have, but better, they've. If you want to sound like a native speaker, don't say do not. Say don't. When you will use contractions in your conversation, you will sound more like a native speaker, but not like a linguistic book. Let's talk about stress. When you are listening to the conversation, when you are listening to some dialogues, every word have a stress, even in your native language, when you pronounce a sentence, some words are stressed and some of them are not stressed. Listen to the native speakers. What words do they stress and what words are not stressed? And listen again to the rhythm because Every language has its melody. Every language is different, and English is not the exception. Listen very tenderly to native speakers. Listen to the reason how do they pronounce the sentence. Sometimes the voice can be low, sometimes it can be high, and it can be spelled, it can be said with different different intonation let me show you one practical one amazing and one very good site where you can listen to the native speakers this site is called tad you can print it and i will send of course the link down you can just click it and you will be already uh, over there so here you can find a lot of videos with the native speakers, not only English, any language you can find here. Listen to these talk shows, listen to some great ideas. You can, you can learn not only a foreign language, but you can uh, learn something interesting for you. And let me just show you, um, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you one more site. This one is also TED, but a little bit different, called TEDx. This one is also great. This one is the same with the native speakers, talk shows, some great ideas for learning. Let me show you how to listen to some linkings, how to find them, how to listen to some stressed or unstressed words, and how to listen to the rhythm. Listen to this gentleman, please. Let me show you how does it work. Let's go. Well, actually, it was weird. There were a lot of people, they probably all coming home from work, and uh, they were all dressed in brown and gray clothes. Great. They were all dressed in... Great, wonderful. Brown and gray clothes. When you are learning English, um uh, you will read they are all dressed in brown and gray clothes but how does the native speaker say this word he says they were all dressed in brown and gray clothes brown and gray the sound tip is omitted it is lost that's why sometimes we don't understand these simple words because some sounds are just lost so the native speaker will omit the sound t. brown and gray that's the flow of the language and this is the way you have to learn it this is the way you have to listen to the native speaker and you have to repeat and let's go on, let's come back to the practical techniques, how to improve your English speaking skills. The first one is imitation. Ladies and gentlemen, imitate native speaker. Listen to these videos, listen to these songs and imitate the native speaker because not always we have someone we can talk to. 
not always we are surrounded with the native speakers, but talk to yourself. You always have yourself to talk to. You can talk in front of the mirror just to see how does your mouth move. You can talk just in front of the video to see how does your mouth, teeth, and tongue are moving. Is it correctly or not? You can identify whether you look like a native speaker or not. You can identify the stress and you can identify the flow of your language. And my dears, of course, after imitation, you have to talk to yourself all the time. You woke up in the morning, tell to yourself um, in English, I'm going to drink a cup of wonderful coffee, then I am going to drive my car, I am going to the swimming pool, I am going to the gym, I am going to the school, I am going to work, and always talk to yourself in English. Just use simple things. Even when you are counting something, you're counting some money. So just count in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, until 100. One million, one billion. I wish you all to be great and to be happy. So just talk to yourself in English. Think in English. And the third one is more difficult step. The third one is retell a story in English. You have been listening to some song. You have been listening to a film, movie, video, anything in English. Then try to retell the story in English. Try your best. Why it is the most difficult variant? Why it is the most difficult step? Because here you will have to practice grammar a lot. And that's great for you if you want to sound like a native speaker. For example, you have been reading a book that the children were playing in the garden. So, tell to yourself, retell, I read that the children were playing in the garden. This story is about a wonderful and amazing shiny day. This story tells us how happy were the children? Retell a story, retell a film, retell a video, retell a song, retell everything you have been listening or reading. You know the meaning of the word. You can use it in your sentence. You have been listening to some native speakers. You have been practicing with yourself, retelling and talking to yourself. What to do next? Number five, find a native speaker. Today I want to share with you more links where you can find native speakers and to practice your English all together. Mm -hmm. Great, let me share with you my screen. Great, this one is called Tandem. You can Google it over here. Tandem, download, free, and you will find it. But I will send you the link, you can click it, and this site is already with you in use. So Tandem, press install, and you will have it on your phone. Tandem is great for practicing. You can not only practice here with the native speakers, but you can find here uh, a lot of news in English. You can find here a lot of books in English. You can, you can uh, listen to some dialogues here in English. Uh, this site is not just only for talking. Th this site is great for uh, practicing when you are studying alone. Uh, sometimes we do not want to talk to anybody, uh, so it is just a great time to read. Let me share with you the next site, and the next one is this one. This one is called Telegram. You can also print it over here, Telegram, download free. You can download Telegram for your phone and for your computer as well. I will send you this link down below this video so you can press it and you can use Telegram. 
Telegram is uh, worldwide too. You can practice your English with native speakers and there are a lot of groups where you can discuss your English. Uh, there are a lot of teachers who will give you some information how to learn words uh, and many things about English, how to learn English. I will give you the link uh, to Telegram and I will give you two links to Telegram English speaking groups, to Telegram English learning groups. You can enter them by yourself just pressing enter the group and you will be already here. There are teachers who will help you. And what else I would like to share with you? I would like to share with you one more thing. I would like to share with you one more thing. I have this one for you. This one is called Meet Up. You can join Meet Up and you can see here many groups around the world where um, students, teachers, native speakers, non-native speakers, are gathering together and just discussing the topics that they like. Here you can find uh, meetings that are going to be somewhere around. You can see the date, you can see the hour and where it is, it will be held and where it will be held. And you can see here the categories. You can join any category here, you can see language and culture you can join this group and you will see where the upcoming meetings will be held and you can practice your english with someone in your real life not online but in your real life and i will give you the link to the meetup hope you will like it my dear ladies and gentlemen so uh so that is it for today I believe that you liked this lesson, that you find it practical. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to put this thumb up, to share and to subscribe to my channel to have more videos about English. And in my next video, I'm going to share with you more links, uh, where to find English, how to learn it, and how to use some apps. Wish you to have a wonderful day. Uh, have a positive time. Happy spring. Happy upcoming spring. Until next time. Bye-bye.